Hey there, welcome to a healthy conversation in the Kretsch Kitchen where, you know, we tell you that we invite you in to these conversations um, that we have about health all the time, but really, no, really, we do have these conversations. We just had this conversation before Shelly hit record on this recorder, right? I mean, we have these conversations all the time, so we're going to jump right in today to try to you capture... You become the antagonist all the time. Why? Listen, I'm just really good at asking questions. I, I am. And you are. That's, and I get frustrated to answer your questions. I, so well, here's yeah. the thing. I, we, we, we are obligated to share with our friends who come into our kitchen. And so if I don't ask really deep, good questions, our friend will never know the truth. This is this true. It's all about you. It's really, it's it's all about them. Right? That's right. Okay. So we're going to jump right in. We promised that we would talk about exercise with a parallel to sleep. Because remember, sleep deprivation can cause you to not be able to lose weight, but it can cause you to gain weight. As a matter of fact, it can cause you to gain 30 pounds, according to the nurse's study, mm -hmm. over a 10 to 15 year period. So we're going to talk about exercise. We've talked about relaxation, positive mindset, the foods you eat, and nutrition. Today we're talking about exercise. Now, we're going to specifically talk about when and what kind. Now, when is pretty important, and you win this one. I know you're going to gloat over it. As, yeah, as gonna, usual. I'm going to hear about that one forever. Here's the thing. There is a best time to exercise for sleep, and that is five to six hours before you go to sleep. That's his favorite time to exercise, as long as I've known him. 25 years, right? Or 25 years you've been together. I knew you longer than that, but then I didn't like you in those yeah. first few years. And yeah. that's a whole other video. Yeah. Don't so, go into that. <laughs> so uh, around 4 or 5-ish in the afternoon is when you like to exercise. Well, according to the research I've done, the best time to exercise for sleep is that many hours before you sleep. It all has to do with body temperature. Now, the second best time to exercise for sleep is when I prefer to exercise, and that's in the morning, right? And one of the reasons for that is because when you expose yourself to daylight tied in with exercise, it helps um, that, that uh, temperature, that body temperature go up. Because here's the thing, when you exercise, your body temperature goes up. And automatically, and by God's design, when, you, when it's time to go to sleep at night, your body temperature starts dropping. And then as you really go into deep sleep, your body temperature is at its lowest. So exercise will take it up. That's why exercising in the afternoon is good, because you raise that body temperature, and there are enough, just enough hours there for it to start lowering. So then you can go into good, healthy sleep. Now, exercising right before you go to sleep, that's the Bad worst idea. plan. Yeah. Worst plan, because the body temperature is raising and now your body is just going at high speed. Now you were tying, this is what we were talking about before Shelly hit record. You were saying, oh, well it has to do with thyroid. So let's talk about that. Well, your thyroid is a thermostat, plain and simple. And I think there are so many people now, especially a lot of women, that have hypothyroids, which means they're not running very well, they're not working very well. And I think a lot of it can be because they're just not exercising the thyroid. I mean, if you if you if your temperature stays the same all the time, that thyroid gets sluggish. So just so you guys know, what I was saying to him before we hit record is he's like, well, Why that has to do with thyroid. thyroid. And I was like, well, wait a minute, you've got to tie in. It's that you know, exercise and thyroid and body temperature and sleep and well, what is the thyroid? You wanna you wanna show our friends what you? I just you yeah, just like your little th I go, temperature. I go, what yeah. is that? It's a little temperature gauge there. Okay, so when you exercise, it triggers the body's Thermostat, thermostat, right, which is your thyroid. And if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. Here's the thing, too. You're talking about hypothyroid, which is very common. Hyperthyroid is something people don't talk about often, which is a predecessor to hypo. And and really, I, again, I know we talk about this all the time. We're under more stress than we've ever been in our lives, and you know that triggers all the stuff we'll talk about next week, like cortisol. But you you got to get out there and move because that will adjust that body's thermostat and everything works better. The key to remember is you the best time to move is five to six hours before you normally go to sleep. Second best time to exercise is in the morning. And again, that helps stabilize your mood, clear your head. There are all kinds of good reasons to exercise in the morning besides body's thermostat. But the worst time to exercise is at night before you go to sleep. Last thing we want to point out is the kind of exercise. We know that people love yoga. Yoga is awesome. We know that people uh, love resistance. You need resistance to build the muscle mass. Um, here's the thing. Cardio, 20 minutes of cardio, some things never change. Truth never changes, right? 20 minutes of cardio is what you need in order to get that body's thermostat up. Get the endorphins flowing. Yep, to where it needs Relaxation. to be. Relaxation. So 
so cardio get out there and get your heart rate up we talked about this several weeks ago the target heart range for you to be in a 60 70 sometimes 80 but right around 70 percent of your maximum Perfect. and yeah. go back just a, a few weeks into the archives and you can find what we talked about and the training there so again cardio is get out there and do a healthy run walk or a jog um uh, circuit training uh impulse training or burst training is really big just start right off now. by moving just mm. start moving and That's move a little bit more tomorrow every time and a little bit more the day after that and a little bit more the day after that yeah, this stuff really is simple. So if you want to uh, prevent the weight gain that comes from not sleeping, relax, positive mental attitude, the right nutrition and food, and exercise. That about covers it. That about covers it. I'm telling you, I sometimes I think, God, wait, this stuff is fascinating. We might be really smart people. I don't know. Maybe not. Or maybe we just think we are. Or maybe just he is, and then I have to admit it to him. I don't know. I do have to ask questions every now and then, though, to you know keep you on your game. So, all right, we'll talk to you next week. We're going to talk about meditation and lowering cortisol and delta waves and theta waves and really some of the key stuff to you getting good sleep at night. Talk to you next week.